my name is Vashti Bershore and I am an artist. I, I never can create in a vacuum or on my own. Like it doesn't come from just me. Creating comes from my conversations with people, my relationships with my brothers or with my sisters or my friends and our conversations about what they love or what they love to see and the colors they love. And so every time I have a conversation, it sparks something in me. Cocoa Village was always a great place to go for the art fairs and things like that as a kid, but as an adult, I never really engaged with it much. I didn't think about it. And my husband and I, we walked to Cocoa Village to, to go and talk to the different galleries there and see if I could get my art in. And we walked into this little gallery that said it was an artist co-op. And we walked through the door and Carolyn Seiler was there and greeted us with this huge smile. And she said, hey, are you guys just looking around? And I said, actually, I'm looking for a place to display my art. And I love our gallery. I love where we are, we're right in the middle, and something I've discovered about Cocoa Village is it's this cool, awesome hub of Brevard County. There's all these little intricate parts of the things that make our county work are right there in Cocoa Village. All the people come there, they come there to eat, they come there to socialize, they come there to be a part of this community, and being the collaborating person that I am, I thrive. I start on a completely ashen black canvas and sometimes that canvas I might buy it and it's white and it's clean and it's pure and it's ready for paint and I just smear it with this black and a lot of times in life we come from there's been a lot of things in my life that have caused darkness that have caused this kind of a blank space where I wonder Will I ever be worthy? Will I ever be clean? Will I ever be whole? Or will I just be this nothing, this blackness? And is this really what God intended? You know, the artist, the ultimate artist, did he really intend for me to have this darkness? And then what happens when I begin to create is I begin to fill in with these bright, bold colors of the flower or the the leaves and the sky and suddenly across this darkness becomes this joyful happiness um, and these the darkness that's behind it create these bold dark lines that define the beauty and the joy and that's something that I'm learning in my life is that these things that maybe I've done to myself or others have done to me or or I've gotten myself into situations where I have this this hole, this darkness, you know, the artist comes in and he paints his joy and he paints his color and redefines who I am and what my life is going to be. It doesn't have to stay in that darkness. And that's something about my art that I've become begun to realize is that, you know, I'm working through what the ultimate artist does. I'm processing all these these shadows and these dark places are becoming lit up and they're becoming beautiful through these strokes and through this change and through this creation of beauty and light and um, and joy and that's like the fate my most favorite part of of creating and being an artist is is being in tune with the ultimate artist The getting messy part is my favorite part. Um, my daughter comes to me almost daily and says, Mom, you have paint on your nose. When my husband and I first started to, you know, try to have Amelia and 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 get pregnant and have babies, you know, it took a while. It took a, um, it took a few years before I was able to get pregnant and a, a little bit of struggle. And I realized that this is something I have. I've always wanted to be a mom and I've always wanted to raise my kids and, and now I might not have it. And then the idea of leaving them with someone else to raise and going to work was so like, that was my ultimate dream was having these kids. So I began to think about what do I have that can keep me with them to fully engage with them and art was like a clear, it was like, you have this gift. 
you don't just give it to people at Christmas time. This is something that you can give to your kids as a way to stay with them and to raise them the way that you want to raise them is to figure out how to do this thing that you so love and present it to people in such a way that it provides for your family. Looking back, you always think, man, if I knew then what I know now, but I think that's part of the process of becoming who you're supposed to become. And the doing of things is not necessarily who you are. It's who are you in those moments of with your children or with your family or with your friends. You know, those moments are more important than what you do. And what you do should only support 